Um, but, uh, Carol, I just want to begin by thanking yourself and the leader for allowing us the opportunity to observe that minute's silence for the people uh, uh, slaughtered in Gaza uh, over the course of the last few days, and second, the proposed amendment uh, to the order of business by Senator Conway Walsh. Um, and, and as other uh, colleagues have said, I want to uh, just refer uh, to the issue of why the, the tonics should come in here. Because um, I have listened to the Tan issue over the course of a number of statements uh, on this issue, and indeed on Senator Black's uh, bill uh, in relation to uh, uh, settlement uh, goods. I have heard the Tan issue and indeed other government colleagues uh, advocate for a diplomatic uh, approach to this issue, as if Israel heeds diplomacy, as if they have observed any kind of uh, diplomatic uh, approach uh, to this issue, as if you are dealing with some kind of conventional, if there is such a thing war or conflict between two states, when in actual fact what we are seeing evidenced on the streets uh, of Gaza being inflicted on the Palestinian people is genocide, it is slaughter, it is calculated, it is deliberate uh, and it is policy. So I am not sure what a diplomatic response to that is, uh, if there is one. I do not believe in this instance there is, because what you do need in the first instance is a willingness, and there appears to be no willingness on the part of uh, Israel, as uh, Sander Lawler has said, to engage in conflict uh, resolution uh, here. There only seems to be one aim from Israel, uh, and that is the ultimate uh, removal of the Palestinian uh, people. I have also listened to the Tanisha uh, outline that they will uh, pursue a response through the UN as if the U.S. won't block, if it hasn't done already, any option uh, to pursue a resolution uh, to this or a reproach to Israel uh, through uh, the U.N. So, with the greatest respect, I believe we have now exercised our options. And I appreciate fully the efforts put in by uh, the Tanisha and his officials uh, in the department. We are a small uh, uh, country. Uh, we are a small uh, presence uh, on this issue of such geopolitical uh, magnitude, and I do not doubt for one second we have uh, tried sincerely uh, and valiantly uh, in this regard. But yesterday has not happened in isolation. This is not a one-off. This is a consistent, calculated, deliberate approach uh, by uh, Israel. They do not adhere to international law. They are breaking it. So why should we treat this uh, state like an ordinary other state. This is a state that is practicing apartheid. This is a rogue state. This right. is a state that is slaughtering uh, people Thank who you. are peacefully protesting. So I'll finish on this, Kaharlak. I think we should follow two, and I have a whole lot more I could say, but I think we should follow two examples uh, in this House. We should follow the example uh, set by ourselves. We should boycott uh, apartheid like Ireland done with South Africa. And the second example we should follow is to follow the South African government who have expelled the Israeli ambassador. And we too should take that stand and expel the Israeli ambassador. Because the time for, there is a time for dialogue and conflict resolution. We know that better Thank than most. You. But there is also a time for action. And I think the time for action has passed. And we need to send uh, a message to the Palestinian people who know all too well the consequences of conflict uh, and colonialism. Uh, that we stand by them. We stand for justice. We stand for rights. And Thank we stand you. ultimately for peace. Israel does not. Riley.